Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm about to start the transition process for how I dose in my tank. What I mean by that is I'm gonna be changing up the way that I dose my trace elements and the minor elements in the tank. As you may have seen in my past videos, at the moment I dose Fauna Marin's Elementals line. And to be frank, as much as I love these products and all of the offerings that they offer, I have to make a change. Um, the reason for that is not because there's anything wrong with the products, uh, but mainly because of the specific needs of this tank. To tell you a quick story, when I first started doing ICP testing, I got to see what elements my tank consumed the most. And right off the bat, it was copper. Every single time I sent off an ICP test, I would find out that I needed to increase copper again and again and again. It quickly became the most consumed element in the tank out of any of the other um, trace elements and minor elements. And because of that, I quickly realized that I was going through these 250 mil bottles very quickly. Right now, I'm dosing 25 mils of copper every single day. And to put that into perspective, this bottle, which costs $25, lasts me only 10 days. So the solution to that was to get the biggest container of copper that Fauna Marin offers. This is a five liter container, and this cost me about $400 and this only lasts me about six months and at that price point I had no choice but to look for a more economical option. That's when I went out and started doing some research and came across Captivate Aquaculture's line of products. I reached out to the owner of the company Chris Wood who was more than kind enough to spend time on the phone explaining how his system works and basically creating a roadmap for how I can transition out of the Fonamarin Elementals line and into the Captivate Aquaculture line. Basically from what I gather is with with my ICP test, I sent off an email to Chris so that he can then interpret the results and give me a blueprint for how I can start dosing with his products. And when I received those results, it was very clear as to what elements I needed to start off with. And those elements were iodine, manganese, iron, selenium, rubidium, silicon, and fluorine. To kickstart the transition process, what I'm going to do is create a master dosing solution using these elements right here. I'm gonna look at the interpretation sheet from Captivate Aquaculture and make the solution according to their recommendations. The bottle that I'm going to use to store the master solution is this empty one liter bottle that I just had laying around. I'm gonna fire up the RO unit, fill it up with mostly water, and after that, individually dose these elements according to the recommendations from Captivate. As far as the dosing pump that I'm going to use to dose out, to dose all these elements, because everything is all in one bottle, I'm going to use the zinc dosing pump. Uh, that's the pump that I'm using to dispense Fauna Marin's Elementals Zinc product. I'm gonna discontinue that and I'm gonna replace it with the master dosing solution. Okay, so now the master dosing solution is ready to be connected to the dosing pump. To keep things nice and organized, I did label the bottle with every element that makes up the master dosing solution. The amounts that I wrote here are just indicators for me to know the makeup of the solution itself. As time goes on and I send off ICP tests and get further interpretations from Captivate, I do expect to have to do some tweaking to the master solution. Maybe I have to increase some elements and dec decrease others. As far as the Farmer Elementals line go, as I start to run empty on individual elements, I would like to consolidate the amount of dosing pumps that I'm using so that I could have more elements being dosed out of a single dosing pump head. That is my ideal scenario. 
with regards to the actual dosing pump setup, what I have to do is log into my Profilux and go into the dosing pump that is dispensing my Fauna Marine Elementals Zinc Element. From there, I just rename it and reconfigure the dosing schedule so that it doses according to the recommendation from Captivate. With that done, I could sit back and wait to see how the tank responds to this new dosing regimen. All right guys, so that just about wraps up the video for today. A few quick thoughts. I am very much looking forward to seeing the impact that these Captivate products have on my tank. I have heard a lot of great things about them, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it affects my tank over the coming months. I do plan to give you guys an update video maybe in a couple months just to let you guys know what changes I've had to do to the Captivate dosing regimen as well as maybe additional products that I may have purchased from them. So with that said, thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.